here today to show you how you can purchase rental properties with little or potentially even no money out of pocket. So how does it work? What we're going to do is purchase and rehab the property with cash or a hard money loan. So we are not going to use traditional financing. I've got cash here in quotation marks um, and I'm going to get to that in a minute and explain um, how that can be done in, in various ways. I will also explain how a hard money loan works. But the important thing to um, realize right here is that we're not using traditional financing. Um, so after we um, rehab it, then we're going to rent the property out. Then we will refinance into that long-term traditional financing. And then you're going to repeat, of course, after that. So the 20% down mid, so traditional lenders are going to tell you that on a purchase, you're going to need to put at least 20% down um, for an investment property, um, something that's not your primary residence. So if you're buying you know, a property that's $100,000, that's going to require you to come up with at least $20,000 out of pocket. Now, if you're looking to you know, scale this and do five or 10 or 20, then that 20% down can you know, really add up quickly. So what do we do to get around the down payment issue so we don't have to come up with that 20% down? Well, since we are not purchasing with a traditional loan, we are purchasing either with cash or a hard money loan, now the long-term lender or traditional lender sees this as a refinance and not a purchase. Um, so they don't require that 20% down anymore. So that's the, the important takeaway um, is that this is now a refinance and it's not a, a purchase loan. So at, at this point, now they're going to be looking at the current value of the property. Um, so it's been uh, rehabbed, it's been rented, it's stabilized now. So now the lender is going to look at uh, the, that current value of, of what the property is worth. And they will finance up to 75% of the new appraised value on a cash out refi. So they'll go all the way up to 75% and they don't look at, you know, there's no down payment requirements at this point. Um, so the, the key is to find these properties that you can purchase and rehab for less than 75% of what's called ARV, which stands for after repair value. So that's what the property is going to be worth after you fix it up. So just as a quick example, let's say that um, you have a property that is going to be worth $100,000 after it's fixed up. Well, that means that you want to be all into that property, your purchase and your rehab, for $75,000 or less. Um, that would allow you to basically get into the property for um, little or no money out of pocket. So what options do we have for funding? Um, so I you know, said cash, uh, I had it in quotations because uh, there's a, a few different ways you can do this. Um, the important thing to realize is that cash is king. Um, so hard money is an option um, and it's still a good option, uh, but cash is always just going to be easier. Um, you're a lot of times able to get lower offers accepted um, if you're using cash versus hard money because you can close quicker, um, you, there's no financing contingencies, um, stuff like that. So a lot of times um, you can just get better deals uh, and it's just a, a much smoother transaction. Um, so cash is definitely king, but hard money is still an option. Um, so where can you find this cash? So of course it could just be money that you have in a checkings or savings account. Um, that's pretty basic, uh, but it also could be a home equity line of credit or HELOC. Um, so typically a HELOC, they will go up to 90% of uh, what your home is worth, your primary residence. Um, so if, you, if you're living in a home that is worth $200,000 and you only owe $100,000 on it, so the, uh, the HELOC will go up to 90% of what it's worth, so 90% of $200,000 is $180,000. Then you subtract what you owe from that, that $100,000, and now you're left with $80,000. So you could get a HELOC or a home equity line of credit for up to $80,000. Um, and HELOCs have, uh, they're, they're very easy to use. They essentially work just like cash. 
Um, you know, you can take the funds after you've been approved for it. You can use them very easily. You don't get charged on the interest um, if you're not using it, if it's just sitting in the account. But then once you, you know, go to fund a real estate transaction, um, then they'll, you know, charge uh, some interest on it, but it's still very low. Um, but it's a really, really good option for a lot of people to use. So if you have equity in your primary residence, a HELOC is a, a fantastic strategy that you can use. Um, another one, you know, maybe you just have money uh, tied up in the stock market right now. Um, that's money that you could use to fund your real estate deals. And, and keep in mind with any of these options, uh, the funds that you're going to be using, it's all going to be very temporary. So you're going to use these funds to purchase and quickly rehab the property, get it rented out, and then you're going to refinance and that cash out refinance will pay all of that money back. So, you know, if you take, say in that HELOC example that I gave you, so if you take that $80,000 HELOC that you, you know, took out and use it to, to purchase a property, once you go to refinance, as long as you're within, you're at 75% or better of ARV, then you will get that $80,000 directly back to you. So you end up, that's how you end up purchasing the property with essentially no money out of pocket because the money that you did put into it, you get all of it back once you refinance. Um, so another option too is a self-directed IRA. Um, so if you have a retirement account, um, you can always check with your employer to see if it's an option to do self-directed IRA. Um, that's also a, a fantastic strategy. Um, real estate is, a, is one of the things that you can invest in uh, in a self-directed IRA. I don't have time to go into all the details, but if you have a retirement account, um, you could put that into a self-directed IRA and be able to use those funds um, to, to invest in real estate. Um, and then of course, you know, you've got family and friends. So maybe none of these options work for you, but you have a family member or friend that you know, um, has some equity in their house. They've lived there for a while, or, you know, maybe they just, uh, bought it for a great deal. Um, they bought it with cash, you know, they, they've got plenty of equity in their home or they've got, you know, a retirement account or they've got money in the stock market. Um, you know, those, those are always people that you could, you know, partner with, or, um, you know, you could also get a private money loan through, um, which is going to be one of our next options. So cash is king, but there are a few different loans that you can do that, um, are still much better than, um, traditional financing. And these loans are going to be, uh, asset based, um, you know, based on the, the value of the property. And both of these will also allow you to get um, away from that 20% down payment. Um, so hard money loan, it's short-term financing. It typically does have a high interest rate. Um, the, the, you'll have to pay points on it typically. Um, each hard money lender is going to be different, but they are pretty expensive. Um, that's why they are, are meant to be just short-term. Um, so you know, you might have it anywhere from three to six months uh, before you refinance into that long-term fixed financing with lower rates. Um, and as I mentioned, you know, the loan is primary based, primarily based on the value of the property. A private money loan, that's um, very similar to, to hard money loan, um, but you can even have terms that are, are more flexible and, and can be negotiated easier. So maybe if you have that... Um, you know, friend or, or family member or just someone that um, you know that could help you fund these deals, um, you could always approach them uh, with the idea of loaning you um, some money through through a, a private money loan. So I want to go through an example of one that we actually did. Um, so this was a four-family um, property. Uh, the sales price was sixty-eight thousand. The rehab cost was thirty. Um, it appraised for a hundred and thirty thousand. So we were right at seventy-five percent of ARV, which makes it. Remember, ARV is the after repair value. Um, so you know, after we did the the rehab to it, after the thirty thousand dollars was put into it, it now was going to be worth one hundred and thirty. Um, so we're right at at that seventy-five percent mark, which is what we're looking for. 
um, the monthly rent was also going to be about $2,200 for this one. Um, so I just went through quick rental pro projection. So, you know, you've got a yearly um, gross rent of $26,400. Then you're subtracting 10% out for management, 10% uh, for maintenance and vacancies. Um, then you're subtracting out your, your taxes and your insurance. Um, and then also your estimated mortgage. You're, you're going to have a mortgage on, on the property at this point, And you're left with a net operating income. Um, and of course, this is an estimation, but you're left with a net op operating income of over $14,000 per year that you're getting um, in, in rental income. So, so what does this look like, let's say, in 30 years? Um, so if we're getting you know, a little over $14,000 in just cash flow um, per year, so that that's going to bring in four hundred and you know four hundred twenty five thousand dollars, give or take, um, over the the course of, of thirty years from from just cash flow alone. Um, now, if the the property appreciates at just three percent, which is on the low end of what real estate typically appreciates at, um, that same property now is worth three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. So. After 30 years, you also have this property 100% paid off. So you have a property that's worth $315,000 that is free and clear. So if you choose to you know, sell the property at this point, you'd be pocketing everything because you're not having to pay off a mortgage. So you're, you're left with $315,000 and then you've brought in $425,000 in cash flow over the 30 years. So you could have a profit from one property of over $740,000 from just one. And the crazy thing about this is that you bought it with you know cash or a hard money loan and then refinanced out so that you got all of your funds back out of it. So you had no money out of pocket into this deal. So you produced this asset that brought you in $740,000 over a 30 year period and you did it with with no money out of pocket. You got all of your money back out after you refinanced. So it cost you nothing to do this. Okay, so what do we provide? Well, we supply properties that are gonna fit this model. Properties that you can buy and rehab for 75% or less of ARV. Properties that will also cash flow well. We're very experienced working with investors on this strategy, including those that are out of state. There are some areas of the country where these properties are just easier to find and they cash flow a lot better than other areas. So it is completely okay if you're out of state. We've done this many times with, with out of state investors and it works very well. We've got you know the boots on the ground and the local people and we've got referrals for everything that you're gonna need to be successful including the short-term lenders, long-term lenders, contractors, property management companies, basically anything that you need, we can provide a referral for it. So what are the next steps? So if this is something that you're interested in um, or you know, you know someone that might be interested and qualifies for this, this program, then we want to chat with you. So you're going to want to reach out to the certified specialist who sent you this video and talk to them about the next steps. They're basically going to start sending you properties that are going to fit this model and you will be able to work with them one-on-one -on -one to find you know, properties that are going to fit and hit your criteria. So a quick summary, so you can create up to $742,000 in profit for each and every property that you buy. You also can buy these properties with little or no money out of pocket. So once you go to refinance, um, whether it's a traditional refinance or a cash out refinance, you can get your money back out of the deal and then be all into the property um, for potentially no money out of pocket. You also can invest passively through this. So you can hire you know, property management companies that are gonna take care of these properties for you so it becomes a very passive source of income. And one other advantage of this that I didn't even have time to, 
to uh, mention is that there are tax benefits of owning rental properties as well. So you get the uh, depreciation benefit on, on rental properties too. So this will help you out um, with taxes as well. So there's, there, there's tax shelters that are involved with owning uh, these real estate properties as well. And then finally, you know, we're going to provide everything that you need, um, all the referrals that you need, um, you know, the lenders, contractors, property management companies. And then, of course, we're going to provide you with the properties that fit this model. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, I'm just going to go back to this last slide. Just reach out to the person, whoever it was that sent you this video. Reach out to them, let them know that you're interested, and ask them about the next steps. Thank you guys for your time, and I hope you guys have a great day.